Hey everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, I'm Kenny. Football. Hey, yeah. My name is Cedric Eagle. I'm an actor and filmmaker, and today we are reacting to Black Swan. This video might be a little bit longer. I'm reacting to both the official music video and the orchestra version. Uh, that's what all of you had been suggesting that I do. So I'm very excited to see. What's ahead for this? I, I don't know what to expect apart from everybody said that it's dance heavy. So I'm excited. Let's see what's in store. Of course, this could just be the Natalie Portman film of the same name. Probably not, though. Let's find out. I'm just kidding. That's the, that's the movie. Okay, for real. Here we go. Big hit. Entertainment. Okay. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, the shadows doing different moves. I mean, you can tell that someone's over here off screen dancing. Oh, they're doing a lot with the shadows to do a different dance. I'll die my first mm. Nice. Oh. oh, nice. Dropping out of frame and then tilt down. It's a beautiful theater. Beautiful theater. So a couple of things. Uh, obviously, they're they're wearing white with a black floor. They're using a white spotlight, which kind of makes them glow a little bit in the light, and that reflects too on the black floor, which created a line in that opening shot which is just cool visually. It pleases the eye to see that. They're also using themselves to create vertical lines because there's nothing behind them to focus on. On the wider shots, then, you see the full theater, which is, is interesting because it's gold, which is a very warm color. So now you've got cool tones and warm tones, um, which is, is slightly dissonant. They're also dancing in the lobby of the theater and on stage. And talked about dying their first death, do your thing, sort of feels like they're talking about performance, uh, maybe performance theory, um, the idea of similar to what I talked about with on maybe fake love to the public versus private self. I, I, I don't know. That's just initial thought. Cause obviously you're talking about a lobby versus on stage and those are different things, right? I, as an actor, when I do a musical, if I'm in the lobby, I'm Cedric Eagle. I'm an actor. I'm in the lobby. I'm, you know, whether it's, after the show and you're meeting the audience or whatever, you, it, it's a different thing. You're the private self versus on stage when you're playing a character, you're a different self. Also, they're wearing black in the lobby versus white on stage. So there's a clear difference being made there. The dancing is, is I mean, beautiful. I think uh, Jimin is the main dancer, right? Um He's so talented. I mean, they're all really, really talented. But some of this contemporary dance, I'm going to put up some of the videos of some of the stuff that I really, really liked. The extensions, look for the really technical stuff. I mean, hitting a certain point on the body with a leg raise or on a kick or, you know, the, the difference between blade uh, and spread out fingers or a flex and a blade. Um, just very, very sharp, very trained, very intentional. This is beautifully, beautifully, beautifully performed. 
re- I mean, it's not what I was expecting. I thought this might be more upbeat, but it's very emotional. It's very emotional. Now using the camera to focus on each member and very personal shot. Oh, the wings from Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Now they're really washing him out with that light. These two look like they're arguing. They look like a rehearsal space. I'm sure that that backdrop means something. Heartbeat racing in my ears. That's what happened in my forest. Oh, that dancing is oh, so contemporary, so oh, yes. This idea of being stuck on the floor. Slow moves, talking about eternity. <sighs> wow. This feels like it's talking about performance and kind of the struggle of getting yourself into performance mode or, or the struggle that an artist faces when you when you feel like you're not moving forward or when you're not being your true self. I feel like that's, you know, maybe when they're saying, film it now, film it now, do your thing. Your thing is kind of like perform, you know, put on a smile do the, the thing the dancing there especially in the second verse it felt like it was starting to become more performative it felt like it was starting to be more confident more into it uh, maybe that's the journey is starting with a very insecure feeling they talked about like sinking i think they talked about like an ocean being stuck on the ocean floor this idea of drowning uh i know before they've used some some christian symbolism um, and I know at least in Christianity, we, we use water a lot to mean, um, like abundance versus like, uh, you'll hear a lot of like desert or drought symbolism. Uh, but almost in this one, they're kind of turning that on its head where you're, you're in an ocean that feels like it's abundance, but you're sinking in it. You're drowning in it. That's just a guess. This theater is, is beautiful. I need to, to find out where that is. It's just a stunning space and it makes the whole thing feel much more grand, much more, again, performative. You can't really see the audience. They're kind of blinding you to that. So it feels very much like they're doing this as much for themselves as an audience. It's something that they feel compelled to do, even if it's hard. Because I feel like they're really talking about it being a challenge. There's only like 30 seconds left in this video and I really want it to be longer, but I'm excited that there's a second video. Now all of them dancing together on the do your thing. Oh, the hand dragging behind him at an odd angle. He keeps collapsing, blocking out the light, walking out of the light, struggling, pulling yourself up. into the shadow. Oh, I did not want that to be over. There's a lot of symbolism in that. This idea of do your thing, film it now, was kind of the, the two lines that I saw being continuously repeated that feels very much like approving it to yourself. Um, maybe they're telling each other to do your thing, lift yourself up. Because there are just times where y you want to, you want to do what you love, but you don't, I mean, sometimes it's just hard. There was a film I was doing once where I had to like sprint down a hill at night. And the only light really that we had for the, for the film was my flashlight in the scene. And I had to sprint in this forest down this hill and then race back up to get another shot. And <laughs> there were some times between shots where I didn't really want to be there. But then you look back on it and you love it. And there are just times where you have to work yourself up. Maybe you're not feeling well, but you have a show that night. Um, 
and you know a, a lot of shows unless you're on broadway you don't have an understudy necessarily you have to be there and, and, and be ready to perform there were you know days for example you know some of you have seen the beauty and the beast clip that i have there were days where i didn't feel all that good before going to rehearsal or where i was tired especially during the run of the show i was tired and it was it was hard but you you have to i mean you have to you have to push yourself and you know perform because the audience is there and they want you to be good and they want to support you and you are doing this because you love it so i feel like maybe that's a little bit of what they talked about um talking about dying death too dying a first death i i'm not quite sure what that means i'll be honest i'm gonna see maybe if i can pick that up in the second video i feel like i'm missing something um which is, is fine. I don't think that that means they left something out. I, I feel like that just means that I'm missing it as I'm thinking about it. So I'm excited to see the second video. I thought that video was gorgeous. It was far more simple than a lot of what they've done, which is not a bad thing. It felt much more focused on the performance and on... It was, it was very melancholy, which I really like. I, I, I It made you think... I was getting really kind of emotional watching it, even though I didn't fully understand it. I felt very... Um, I don't know, just very moved by it. So I'm excited to see the second video. Sorry, I had to switch to glasses because one of my contacts was bothering me, so. And he smiled at me, and he was wearing reading glasses to show that time had passed. Oh well. Also, I ate lunch. It was good. Okay, here we go. Big hit, music and artist for healing. Entertainment. Oh, a dancer dies twice. Once when they stop dancing, and this first death is the more painful. Okay, well that answers that question, I guess. You may have noticed before that I said I, I used to dance professionally. I'm not gonna go into all the nitty gritty, but I had several elbow surgeries, which have essentially kind of prevented me from being able to continue dancing um I, I have a very very weak left elbow now i uh can only lift like 25 pounds with my left arm um so man that's that's a beautiful quote and it's it's true i mean i can't really dance to the level that i used to and and you know when i watch videos it makes it really hard because i miss that um you know choreographers have been able to kind of work with me in musical theater but as far as being a professional dancer it's it's become a lot harder for me now because of, of the structural issues within my elbow. Um, so yeah, a dancer dies twice, once when they stop dancing and this first death is the more painful. I feel like that's applicable too across singing, across acting, filmmaking. I mean, if you were to tell me I can't do that anymore, that would be crushing. I can't imagine doing anything else. All right, well, this is gonna be painful, isn't it? This is about to be very emotional, I'm guessing. I guess they left that up for a while. I didn't have to pause it. Huh. It's a little bit reminiscent of fake love. That's not them, is it? It's a different group. Oh, they have a dance company in this. That's right. One of you said that. I mean, look at that shot. The reflection. Ooh. Look at that writhing, contorting. That's really hard to do. It's really hard to do. Ugh. Hands behind. Sort of reminds me of the wings. Oh, cinematography. Cutting back on that makes that movement. We're going back to that wings idea. Oh, cool. It's a different arrangement. And they're all in the black suits from the from the theater lobby. Oh, beautiful work. 
Oh, beautiful. How I died my first death. There's that. So what if they take away dance and performance from them? Oh, the splits. I never. I was never able to do the splits. Not that flexible. Oh, cool. Ocean with all light silence, and they have laser lights coming down. Just notice really, really quickly, they filled the space with fog for this shot to let those lasers come in. It just creates almost a jail cell feeling, right? It almost looks like he's kind of trapped in a cell of some kind, or enclosed with this group. Trying to escape, and they keep pulling him back in. Trying to escape. Oh, look at that. Oh, and they're creating waves, like an ocean. See, behind him? I know you guys have probably already noticed this. I'm just excited. So is this just his dancing? Is that Jimin? I think you guys said it was? I haven't gotten a great look at his face. Oh, let my own feet carry me. Oh, beautiful extensions. Beautiful leap. Doing a windmill there. Nice. Reach back. Um, one of the things I love about this location are these beams that they have that create vertical lines for us to look through. And then when he's kind of extending toward the group in that last shot, he's pushing out toward them. And we have these vertical lines, which makes these horizontal lines that they're creating pop a little bit more. So again, this is cinematography accenting what the dance is. There's that cohesion that they always have. I love this version. I love this orchestra version. I don't know if the other members will show up in, in this, but I, I love this. This is, is gorgeous. Oh, by the MN Dance Company. Cool. MN Dance Company. It's a nice like crawl there to try to escape. Now he's trying to escape again, but it's like he can't stop performing, pushing them back, shouting out with ferocity as he pushes them back. Coming back to that motif of wings. It's like he's it's like he's made of water. He's so fluid in his motions. He. He's reminding me in a lot of ways of Joaquin Phoenix's performance as the Joker. In a lot of this contortion and moving and, and feeling very, it's weird how staccato some of the movements feel and yet they're so fluid. It, it's like he's made of air or made of water. He's just, you know, motioning through on the full extensions and he's kind of, it's a whole body movement. It's not just an arm going up. It's the chest pops out and he's pulling in, right? If he pulls in, it's the whole chest kind of caves in and he sucks in and it's, it's, it's very, it's a whole body experience for him. And thus when we watch, it's a whole body experience for us. I mean, everything where his fingers are, right? If he's pulling his hands back, they're contorted. It's, he's aware of every single inch of his body, what it's doing. Look at that. Beautiful. And then sort of normal, just walking. But look how flexed his, his pecs are. He's still, there's still stress there. Cutting back to a wide shot to show that he's now alone. He's got steam coming off of him. Now they're coming in after him. Oh, beautiful. Very cool. Lifting him up, setting him down. Oh my gosh. Look how fluid he is. Oh, that's cool. He has so much control over every muscle. Oh, nice.
they used a really wide angle lens and got really close on him, which kind of gives it a fishbowl look. Sometimes we'll use that in film to show that something's disconcerting. They'll use that to show that something is very intense, something is off. So that's a really cool way to shoot that, to push in as the group surrounding him. You can see the whole group, but it feels weird. The risk of that is that you remind someone that they're watching a video and you risk pulling them out. But that, that didn't happen here. You felt in that moment like you were him, you were being surrounded by people. There, they're back to that wide angle lens. They got a little bit of a lens flare coming in. Beautiful leap, beautiful, mwah, chef's kiss. They're back to this motif with the hands behind the back. being lifted up. Power Hungry, written on the wall behind him. And then panning upward as he flies away. All you can see were the tips of his fingers. This idea of pushing yourself to get to that point. And I like the idea of, you know, they're all dressed in black. And several of these videos have toyed with the concept of shadows. Um, and Wings, which I think is the name of like a series of their stuff, right? There's like Wings short films. A lot of you guys have been recommending them to me. Um, the previous video actually had Wings coming out. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to watch the dance rehearsal for this. If I assume that there's a video online, I'm sure several of you will comment that. I'm excited to watch that probably as a reaction. I'll probably want to react to watching him learn this just every single piece of his body was in this performance there was no you know there was no toe out of line there was no moment where you know everything was it was all very intense very flexed you could see the tension in his chest in his shoulders he's got a very thin lith build so when he's flexing when he's tensing you can see all of that it's very intense it felt like you were in his head that he's trying to escape these i don't know demons shadows past selves um the pressure of success the pressure of performing it's literally chasing him in this big empty warehouse where there's all this space and combine that with the previous music video where there's the theater still big empty space when i would see performances like that that's the kind of thing that makes me miss dancing is just that much passion and love for performance. And the other thing too that I've noticed is a lot of technically trained dancers are beautiful dancers. But that's kind of all it is sometimes is dancing. They forget that, you know, when, I, when I'm talking to people that want to go into performing, I say you, you kind of have a choice between three things that you want to be if you want to do musical theater, for example. You can be an actor that sings and dances, you can be a dancer that sings and acts, or you can be a singer that acts and dances. It doesn't mean you can't be excellent at all three, you can't be world class at all three. For example, these guys are all world class at all three. But ultimately there's going to be one that is where you're drawing yourself from. Are you more focused on having the perfect vocal? Are you more focused on having the perfect technique as a dancer? Are you more focused on the performance and the character? There's not a right or wrong answer. If you were going to ask me, I'm an actor that sings and dances. Everything that I'm doing vocally, everything I'm doing physically comes from character. That's because I'm an actor first and foremost. And the thing that you notice in both videos, but especially the second one, is it's a character. He's not forgetting that there's a story that he's telling. It's not just beautiful technically, which it is. It's beautiful technical performance in both videos, but they're all playing characters. They're not forgetting to tell a story. And the, the music backs it up. Their vocals back it up. Their vocals back up the character that they're presenting. And that's that can be a hard thing to do because it's a lot of things to focus on. You want, you know, you have to know, okay, I have to flex. I have to push on this. I have to, you know, pull myself in. But you have to know why the character's doing that and justify it from that space. It can't just be the choreographer told me to do this. It has to be I'm pushing something away. I'm pulling something in right? You have to know that. And that is very, very difficult. And this is such a beautiful example of how to do that effectively, artistically, 
and to great effect for the audience, where even if someone doesn't know all the technical skills required in dance, even if someone doesn't know all the names of every move that you're doing, they just take you on a journey with them in both videos. And they're two different journeys. One's the whole group, and then one's a lot more intimate and personal. And yet, it's the same start and the same destination. And it's... You know, you almost feel like you could drop any one of those members in and each performance would have been different because in the music video, you notice that they got a specific shot of each member. All of them have their own journeys that they've taken to get to where they are. And at some point, all those roads combined into one and they all took that road together, but they're all separate vehicles. And them letting us be a part of that journey and being vulnerable and saying, this is a struggle. This is hard. Sometimes it feels like you're drowning. Sometimes it feels like you're stuck. Um, I just admire that vulnerability. And I learned this from a church that I used to work for. There's humility, vulnerability, and dignity are required to achieve authenticity. And they display that to stunning effect that they are humble, they are vulnerable, and they also retain dignity. They know that they're good at what they do and they use that to try to inspire. Um, big hit music and artists for healing, right? They, they, they do that to make you feel like they understand, to tell you that they understand and that they're with you on this journey. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. I, I really, really loved it. Thank you for recommending it. We'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching.